Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and right now, as you can see, I am pulling weeds, mostly Bermuda grass, and creeping Charlie. This is a problem area in my garden, and I discuss that more later on in the video, but right now I'm just, I'm pulling the weeds, and then just a few days later, I am going to be seeding this area. My approach is pretty simple. I found out a long, long time ago that Bermuda grass is pointless to pull out if you're just going to leave it afterwards and you're not going to put anything there because it's just going to grow back within days. At least in my garden, it just literally will grow back in days during the growing season. Now, I have a little bit of a heads up on it because uh, it's winter, so <laughs> it's not the growing season right now, but it's still really important to replace it with something. So that's what I do in this video. And some of these pictures you're going to see some seedlings I found underneath the threadleaf cypress that I pulled out. And they are invasive winter creeper. So that sucked. <laughs> but I found them and pulled them out luckily because they are monsters when they get bigger. Oh, let's check on our seeds. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I forgot I had so many in here. Let's see if they got moldy or anything. I hope not. All right. Uh, I can't really, can't really tell. It's very hard to see. Hey, it's February 6th. So I'm supposed to put these out in three days. Now, keep in mind when it says February 9th to put out. That is just the earliest I can put it out. So I don't have to put it out in three days. That's the earliest I can put it out. And by put it out, I mean I can put it out into uh, the soil and it should have enough cold days from being in the fridge. Now, it's going to get more cold days than this because it is still February and we're going to still get some some cold days. Today is a very warm day though. Today is like 50, I think the high is like 58. So it's a pretty warm day today. So I'm not sure if that's going to affect anything if I put them out today, which I'm not because it says 2-9. But I'm just, I'm just using that as an example. Like several of these say that, say 2-9. So um, in a few days I can put these outside or I could put them in some seed starting mix in pots and put them under my grow light if I want. Um, I might even have a better experience doing that because since these say 2-9, you know, let's say I wait till Saturday, you know, till this weekend to put them into pots under a grow light, then in theory, all this time they've spent in the fridge, which has been about a month, um, because they have that 30 days germinate or that 30 days stratification timeline. Um, maybe they'll sprout, you know, after their germination period um, pretty quick in under a grow light. Versus if I put them outside, we've still got cold days coming up. So if I put them out in the dirt outside, they might actually not come and germinate yet because of that cold out there. So that's just a thought. I don't know for sure because I'm not an expert, but um, just letting you know that's an option. Uh, I only have one little small grow light, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, but I don't know. I'm tempted to do it with some of these. This one I'm not supposed to put out till March 11th. Same with these. I think I have them in that order, so I think the rest of these are like March 11th. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Is that a mold? I hope not. Oh gosh, I'm worried. Okay. Um, and in case you guys are wondering, I used um, just some natural coffee filters, the natural brown coffee filters, kind of in place of paper towels. I had bad luck with paper towels before, but I think I also may have done it wrong before. Um, I'm a newbie at doing the fridge thing, so I didn't do the fridge thing for several years, well, for a couple of years, because I didn't have very good success with it. So this time, hopefully I will, because now I feel like I know 
how to do it better. Of course, there was something in this pile that I was supposed to scarify and I didn't realize it until I already put them in the fridge. So that sucks. I was supposed to scarify one of these before I put them in the fridge and didn't. So I don't know if those are going to germinate or not because you're not supposed to do the fridge and then scarify. I don't know why, but you're not supposed to do it in that order. So we'll see what happens. Checking on my little winter sewing project. Uh, I'm gonna moisten these a little bit, I think, because they're not sure how moist they are. Just gonna spritz them a little bit. It can get pretty dry back here on this concrete. Especially because they're not in milk jugs. Those are in milk jugs. So, I'm just gonna miss these a little bit this morning. Same with these. And we've got some red chokeberry and beautyberry in these. A seed container the seeds okay I don't have a lot of mist flower seeds left Ugh, I really hope that these germinate because I really want some mist flower plants growing where I'm about to seed all right look at that beauty berry seeds which I already have some outside chokeberry um Papa, Indian River Oats, Gray Headed Coneflower, Wild Cinna, uh, let's see, what is, what is Sneezeweed, which it says no strat, no stratification needed there. Um, let's see. Rattlesnake Master. I think I'm going to do Miss Flower and Rattlesnake Master. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else can I do? This is going to be a mess. I had this, I had this all straightened out. Mm, I forget how much sun this can handle. Full to shade, medium to dry. April to June bloom, two feet tall. This, oh, this would be great. I hope it, I hope it grows there though, because I think the place that I am, that I prepped, is not dry. I think it's more moist. So we'll see. We'll see. What about this one? Oh, how much stratification does that? Or yeah, how much stratification does that need? Is uh, sixty. Uh oh. Huh, 60. I don't know if we have 60 days left of cold. I might have to use my fridge seeds for this one. So, what about, what about this one? 60. Okay, these are 60. This is 60. Let's see, what about the geranium and the pinstamen? Because those would be great over there. We got 60 on the geranium and we've got... 30 on the pinstamen. Okay, the pinstamen might be more likely, but we're still gonna, we're still gonna try it. We're gonna put some of these out a little bit. We'll see what happens, because I have several packets of those, or I did. I started with several packets. <laughs> um, 
And that one's 60. I have those in the fridge. So some of these I have in the fridge. These asters, they don't need any germination. I mean, sorry, they don't need any stratification for germination. Right. So, just taking a few of these. Oh, they're so tiny. Putting them in here. Because they've been in the fridge almost long enough. But we're going to have some cold days left, so... I have a specific spot I want some of these pale, pale beard tongues to go. Hence why I am getting them off of here. And what I will do, since this is a little bit dry, it's not dry dry, but I'm going to just very gently <laughs> that should be enough. And then I'm going back into the baggie. Until this weekend or a little bit later. Outside. So I'm about to go outside and I'm about to seed an area I've already prepped. I've already pulled weeds. I've loosened the soil. I am probably going to just check that the soil is still somewhat loose um, and then I'm going to plant these seeds and then I will push them down probably with my feet and then um, I will Actually, I'll probably moisten the soil first if it's dry, and then I'll put the seeds down. And then I'll push them in a little bit. And um, so I don't want to like make the soil too wet, but I do want to moisten it just a little bit. Just because the sun, it just dries out the soil really quick, so. Yeah. Watering the weeds <laughs> that are dormant, I guess. Yeah. Really? <laughs> a lot of passion vine seeds ended up over here. Really? Let's see, I'm gonna do the red chokeberry because it's actually a shrub. I'm gonna put it back here. the germination rate is on these. They are. They're super tiny. Now they don't like leaves to be on them so another good reason I cleared this area. Oh they'd be pretty bad. Snake Master, which is kind of in that seed pot of thingy at the moment. Put some in here. Be cool in front of that too. Hopefully, it gets enough sun back there. Probably won't. So I'll put some up here too. This is penstemon. I forget what it's called. I think it's pale penstemon. <laughs> um, I just looked at it. You all saw it on the screen earlier. Pale beard tongue or penstemon. They're very tiny, just not as tiny as cardinal flower, but almost. So 
Next one is purple coneflower. I'm gonna probably just put it around a little drift right here. small because I don't these I have these for days. I already have this plant in my garden so I have seed supply. I need to I need to be stingy with these. They kinda look pretty when they come up through the mist flower too so I'm gonna put this flower over here as well. This flower. Tiny. Okay, let's see. These might not donate the soup. They. Um, oh, wait, this is the rock. This isn't the one I'm thinking of. The, ger the geranium might not. Germinate. I'm trying it anyways, though. I have so many packets of that one. But I really love this mist flower, even though it's aggressive, because it creates a great edge, and it helps prevent that stupid Bermuda grass from getting in all your flower beds. And lastly, geranium. Wild geranium, geranium maculatum. Like I said, these might take a couple years to germinate because I didn't put this particular packet in the fridge, but I have some in the fridge for the weekend. It's another short border plant, kind of like mist flower is, but these get pink flowers, and the leaves of these are just really pretty. Let me get some more. And, uh... Okay, so the reason I am seeding so many things here in this tiny little area is because this area is really hard for me to grow anything. I mean, other than the shrubs and the trees, this empty spot right here is just, I can't even get like the easy like annuals to grow for some reason, like zinnias and stuff. Can't get them to come up here. Um, I got some dill to come up here, but it was very sparse and sad. So I don't know what's going on in this specific little nook, but it's not super easy to grow things here. So I seeded a bunch of things I seeded as you saw, multiple things that need different stratification. Um, so some things don't need any stratification, some things do. I'm just throwing a bunch here, seeing what pops up. And I'm just gonna step on the seeds to push them into the soil a little bit. We just need some soil contact, nothing crazy. We don't wanna compact anything, but I just want some soil contact. So that's what I'm doing right here. And there you have it. Here is the area cleared of weeds for the most part and some seeds put down. And you can see the redbud tree in the foreground and the arborvitaes and the cypress in the background. And I just really hope this area thrives. And I guess I will update you guys in the spring and summer on what this area looks like because this is a problem area that I have trouble growing anything in. And this area right here, I just wanted to give you a quick little update. I seeded this a while back to give these things um, some winter cold stratification. I just added some new original paintings to the shop. Go to macylou.com to check out the new pieces. I also have prints available as well as different categories of products. I have a $12 and under section and a $25 and under section as well because I believe every human being deserves to have art in their home and to feel cozy and comfortable wherever they live. I also have a contact page where you can easily get in touch with me at your convenience for art commissions and business inquiries. Just put a quick subject line such as, hey, I'd like an art commission, and then in the message section, put in detail about what type of commission you are wanting. 
Also, feel free to use the contact form as a way to ask any questions you may have about the art or the shop. Thanks for all of your support, no matter what form it takes. To support the channel, like the video, comment, and subscribe. You can also support my work by buying art from me at macylou.com. Thanks for watching! <laughs>